hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how to upgrade windows 10 to windows 11 i'm using the iso file uh, which is not in the production environment but uh, still i can upgrade to the windows 11 i just uh, wrote the iso file into a dvd i just burned it and i mounted since it's a virtual machine i can directly mount my iso file so after you open the setup uh, file the iso file you can see the setup option here just double click on the setup option setup file and it will ask for a confirmation message click on yes you just need to open the windows 11 iso uh, folder whether you are mounting by disk or usb whatever You can even it's, uh, extract the ISO file using the 7-zip software. If you don't know what is 7-zip, you can refer one of my previous video. I will put the link in the description. And now after I double click the setup file and give the confirmation, it's preparing the installation files. You can see it on, li on live on the Windows 10 screen itself. So the preparation step is next it's preparing like 43 percentage 50 percentage and i will be pausing and resuming the video because the installation it will take a lot of time sometimes so um just need to um give the confirmation for this one after agreeing the <coughs> license agreement and all this click on next and um, it will ask for getting updates and all this just stay on the screen I zoom to the screen so that you can see what is the options we're getting and you can see applicable notice and license just accept the licenses and and all Now it will check for the updates. We have to pause the video and resume it. Now it's 73 percent each. That's done. Now um, it's ready to install and Windows is asking to wait. So this installation of course it will take some time. Now for me it's took at least uh, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. For the installation and final completely it will take maybe half an hour depending on your ram and the disk that you're using so here you have an option to keep the personal files and apps or you can um, go with nothing if you don't want to keep anything so that will be faster compared to the normal uh, installation but of course in the upgrade you don't need to lose your files and the um, application that you installed especially if you have the office license and all this so just keep personal files and apps so that i will not miss anything but uh, even if you are choosing this option i would like to request you to take a backup of all the files for us to make sure that it does not um, in worst case scenario you are, you are not losing any files even if your windows is crashing hopefully it does not happen for me it was fine so as a precaution you can uh, proceed with that backup so it's installing windows 11 now we are taken out of the windows 10 screen it will be a complete installation screen only from now onwards so even if at this point you can just cancel and um, go back to windows 10 now it's restarting uh, this installation it took some time i just paused the video and now after rebooting it's working on updates you will get a message like this that's fine you just need to wait and you can also see the windows screen is changed it's not like windows 10 it's a different one and here we have um working on updates message
so it's updating it will take some time don't uh, switch off shutdown or power off your computer because it's it will take some time of course if you are using hard disk normal hard disk it will take a lot of time so you just be patient so that it will be finished now it's 64 percent ish and it's done now after a couple of minutes like 20 minutes um, now I'm back to the login screen and of course the window is different and it's beautiful it's not like Windows 10 there are some uh, difference of course for the graphics and all this and here we have um, same message like we are getting in Windows 10 when we are doing a fresh installation or creating a user that's good now um, let's wait for a few minutes so that it will load the icons in the desktop and prepare the files of course because you know uh, we have made to keep the files and uh, applications so it will take some time uh, to restore it to the desktop and the corresponding location in your drives so here we are um, we can see um, a, a new interface windows 10 which is very beautiful and it looks like um, some mobile app stuff when we click on the windows logo on the bottom and of course it's very good to see in coming videos we'll be discussing um, more details about windows 11 how to use the applications and all this what are the uh, features available and all this i really appreciate for watching this completely thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye